Ultrasound plays a variety of important roles in modern life, from medical imaging, to non-destructive testing, to distance measurements. Ultrasound waves are generated by a transducer. The waves can interfere, so two transducers can generate a more complex sound wave. Adjusting the phase of one transducer relative to the other changes where they interfere. Adding more transducers gives better control over the sound field. Many people have used this idea to concentrate an ultrasound beam into a tight focus. But what if we'd like to create a very complex sound field that looks like, say, this dove? Unfortunately, this approach isn't feasible. It would take too many transducers and too much support electronics to draw the image that we want. But we're going to introduce a new approach that allows us to draw this image with one transducer and a single hologram for sound. To produce a hologram, we start with our target image. This is what we want the projected field to look like when we're done. And the software calculates the correct height for each pixel that we can then print. Once we have the shape of the hologram, we manufacture it out of plastic using 3D printing. This is our hologram for sound. You can see the surface is very rough because each pixel has a different height. When we place a hologram in front of a transducer, the sound from the transducer passes through each of the pixels. But because they are different heights, the phase of each pixel is altered relative to its neighbor. So every pixel of the hologram acts as its own transducer. In this setup, we're measuring the sound field produced by our hologram in water. We mounted the hydrophone to a transducer and immersed it in this water tank. Then we used this apparatus to scan a needle hydrophone across the image plane. This is a measurement of the sound pressure levels produced by the hologram. As you can see, it's done a good job in reconstructing the dove. Here's a different hologram. In this case, we've arranged it so that it's projecting ultrasound at the surface of the water where the hologram projects high sound intensity, crest form at the water surface. Objects placed on the crest are trapped there. And we can even engineer the hologram so that the sound field pushes the objects, like surfers, around the tracks. We can also use our dove hologram to assemble objects. Here we have a container full of microparticles that we've placed at the hologram image plane. When the transducer is turned on, the particles are assembled into the shape of a dove. 